hope you're all well. Welcome back to a very highly requested video. I meant to do this as part of the daily edit, but like 31 videos just wasn't enough. I just couldn't squeeze this in anywhere. Um, I thought I would share with you a weekly food shop for us and what that looks like, and also just share with you some recipes that I'm cooking tonight, which I am very excited about. And this video is sponsored by Waitrose and Partners, which I am over the moon about. Um, I did a video with them a couple of months ago. And honestly, I have never had so many photos from you guys making the recipe that I made in that video. It was like a tomato tartlet thing that was just absolutely delicious with like ricotta underneath, tomatoes on top with like potatoes and a salad. And so many of you made it. Honestly, every time I went on Instagram, I was like, you're making me hungry. You're making me so hungry. So I'm gonna share with you another hashtag beautifully simple recipe again. You can walk into any store and in front of you in the chill section, you will find recipes to pick from, the recipe cards there in front of you, and then all of the ingredients that are used in each recipe are there in the chiller and to the side of the chiller. And you, you just put it in your basket. It could not be easier and not only is it so 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 easy to shop it's so easy to cook as well these recipes are really fast really easy to make and literally have a handful of ingredients like no no faff in here no faffing and they all look so impressive as well like that tartlet that i made last time i've made so many times when people have come around and people are like oh this must have taken you forever. And I'm like, it took me 25 minutes. Um, so I just think they're a really incredible thing, not only to make for yourself, but also just to like having your back pocket for when you've got people around. And so I'm gonna go in store today, I'm gonna have a look at what they've got and decide what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight and also do a weekly food shop. I actually Mark did a really good job whilst I was away of like keeping everything stocked up. So this is like a weekly food shop light in a way because we've actually got like quite a lot of things already but we just need to top up of some things this is going to sort us out for dinner tonight and then i've got obviously like my weekly meal box thing that comes so that kind of sorts us out for dinner because i think we're out like one or two nights this week as well so really we're just getting like top ups of general groceries some things for breakfast and things for lunch and any sort of household items that we're out of um, but i thought that would be interesting to share and i am so excited to make dinner tonight i just adore waitrose recipes and actually there was one that i saw in the waitrose food magazine um, i went around my mum's at the weekend and she had it and she was like showing me the recipes that she wanted to make and there was one for like miso caramel cookies which i thought sounded delicious and like these types of videos just wouldn't be these types of videos without cookie recipes somewhere in them um so if i can get my hands on that magazine and all of the ingredients i think i'm going to make those as well as like kind of dessert but also i'm going to see lily tomorrow so i thought i could like take some cookies the lily along with the presents that i've got for fridge which would be fun um so yeah this is like general cooking food video like what is not to love um so i'm gonna head to waitrose and partners now i will take you around i'll show you that setup and the recipe that i pick today will be available to shop right this second like you can go into waitrose today and they will have that recipe there so like cook along with me share your photos make me hungry And this is what you're looking for all of the recipes with everything you need next to it completely genius oh, what one shall i pick with my friend and her baby and it was very fun but I feel like I now need to nap for like 10 years. But I did go food shopping before and now I'm going to show you my food shopping haul. Um, so the beautifully simple recipes all sounded delicious but there was two that really tickled my fancy. There was the veggie balls in tomato sauce with bucatini and they featured vegan Italian inspired veggie balls, which I thought sounded really nice. And also a vegan block of cheese. But, and I haven't cooked cod in the house for a really, really, really long time, but there was something about this recipe that I just thought sounded really fresh and like, 
spring summary and a really good recipe to make if you've got people coming around because I feel like it sort of looks a little bit fancier than it actually is to make. Um, and this is the lemon pepper cod baby potatoes and pea shoots. Um, so I'm very excited to make that. That's what I'm going to make today. And then I also picked up the Waitrose food magazine. If you're a My Waitrose member, you get this free. If not, you can buy it for £3. And in here, I found this little pullout, which is like a picnic pullout, uh, which has a recipe for miso caramel cookies. Um, I will link all of these recipes down below for you because they're all online, but I thought these sounded absolutely incredible. Um, so I think I'm going to make those. I'm going to make the sort of pepper cod. And then also there was just some like general groceries that we needed. Loo roll. If I'm honest, I just buy whatever is on offer. I fitted it all in this tote bag. Um, but the perfect amount of totes for when you go food shopping is like the number you have plus one. You always need more. So I've got the Waitrose and Partners one um, Icelandic cod loins. Um, I've got, I saw this, this is from the Collective Dairy and this is their kefir cultured yogurt in Madagascan vanilla. Um, that's the one thing I love about Waitrose and Partners is you go around and there's just always like new different things to try. Um, and I'm always interested in kefir, it's like really good for your gut. Um, Lizelle, when I had the chance to meet her, was like all about the kefir life. I picked up some of the toffees for the caramel cookies. Um, some essential Waitrose and Partners sunflower oil, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. And that's what we eat for breakfast every day. We just have that with some granola and like low fat Greek yogurt, um, but we've already got some in the fridge, so we didn't need that. So that's kind of like our breakfast sorted. For lunch, um, I always buy soups for Mark, um, and I'm just trying to buy him enough so that we've got enough to keep him going until we go to California. Um, so there's a couple of soups in here. So that's his lunch sorted. And then for me, I just tend to have like leftovers of whatever we've eaten the night before, or like avocado or egg on toast, like something really simple. So I bought two Waitrose One perfectly ripe extra large avocados. I bought two of those and I just have those for lunch with like egg or just on their own like beans on toast. I'm not really too fussed about my lunch. I'm still doing some of my washing from like India and Bali. It's never ending, so I need some more washing liquid. And then just some fruit for like Mark to take to work and for me to eat as well, although not bananas, because bananas are gross. Um, so I've got some bananas, I've got some apples, some pears, some essential Waitrose unsalted dairy butter for the cookies, golden caster sugar, golden syrup still for the cookies. So that's all of our lunch stuff sorted, breakfast stuff sorted. Like I said, um, our meal box sort of does us the most dinners. We only ever need to buy kind of like one or two for the week. Um, so I've got some baby meat potatoes to go with dinner tonight. I've got lemons for dinner tonight. I thought this was really cool. It's um, that section of Waitrose and Partners, you know, where it's got like all of the cook's ingredients, sort of all of these amazing things, which are really hard to find elsewhere, which just make cooking like so, so easy. It's where things like the rich, dark black garlic is. Honestly, this black garlic is incredible. I love it on a cheese board. If you like garlic, you need to give this a go. But nowhere else does that kind of thing. And this is lemon and pepper crust. So this is what's going to go on top of our fish. And it's just like pre-made, ready to go. Super, super into that. Some tartar sauce. Again, that is for tonight's dinner. Pea shoots. That's for tonight's dinner. You know I love my squash. Um, so I'm making sure I've got enough of those to take them to California with me. And then two final things, plain white flour and some light brown soft sugar. That's it. That is everything. So that's kind of a weekly food shop in a way. Like I said, we kind of had a couple of things already that were left over from the week before. But this and our dinners will like see us through. And I am so excited for dinner tonight. I just had, I was really in the mood for cod. And I've had this cod before from Waitrose and it's always so beautiful and so flaky and oh. Cannot wait. Um, so let me put all of this away and then I'm gonna start cooking. So this is what we're making, the Waitrose and Partners beautifully simple recipe, the lemon pepper cod, baby potatoes and pea shoots. I think that looks delicious. Um, it says that this recipe serves to, is prepared in five minutes and cooks in 35. Very, very quick indeed. Uh, the first step is to preheat the oven to 220 degrees. There you go, 220 degrees, oven on. Then it says to put the potatoes and oil into a roasting tin, season and roast on the top shelf of the oven for 20 minutes until tender and golden in places. Yum. Um, I've got these bags of freshly harvested baby meat potatoes. Um, and these are 750 grams, but the recipe says 250. Um, I'm just gonna cook 
all of them because if there's leftovers, we will 100% eat these for like lunch or with a different dinner. And um, it's actually quite handy to have potatoes sort of ready to go. So I'm just gonna wash these first. Oh yeah, there is actually quite a lot. I think I'm just gonna half these. I just always get a bit carried away with baby potatoes. I really take the baby name too literally and then end up cooking enough for about six people. Then I've got some of the Essential Waitrose Sunflower Oil and it says to use one tablespoon. So I'm just gonna measure that, drizzle that in. And then I'm gonna season with lots of salt, lots of pepper. That is the secret to good roast potatoes. And then I'm just gonna sort of toss them all together and make sure everything is covered before I throw these onto my baking sheet and pop them in the oven for 20 minutes. So it says to use half a jar of tartar sauce in this recipe. Um, so I'm just gonna take half a jar and put it in here to make sure I'm not using too much or too little. If you're not a fan of tartar sauce, I reckon this recipe would work with like mayonnaise maybe, or something like a creme fraiche. Like you just need some sort of creamy white sauce. Um, that works as a bit of a sticker for the um, crust that you're going to put on top and also just for like a bit of a sauce um, but yeah there's definitely substitutions you could make here I've got my fish chopping board here I've got a fresh knife and this is the Waitrose one boneless and skinless Icelandic cod loin um, as I mentioned we've had this before and it is always chunky and succulent and yeah, a really, really nice cut of fish. It's slightly wider at the top, it goes slightly narrower at the bottom, um, but basically you're gonna chop it into two. And then what you do now is you just prep your fish for the oven, which they're gonna go into in a minute. And it says to take around half a tablespoon of the tartar sauce over each fillet. I made a bit of a boo-boo there, I didn't wanna double dip my spoon into the tartar sauce, so I'm just taking another amount, that should be enough. Enter the star of the show. This is one of the Waitrose Cooks ingredients, which I mentioned earlier. It's just like a genius lineup of ingredients. And this is the lemon and pepper crust. And I think they had another one as well, which is like rosemary and garlic, which just sounded absolutely incredible. And this is dried breadcrumbs blended with pepper, lemon oil, and seasoning. So it's just like all ready to go. Oh my word, it smells so good. <laughs> now I've opened it. Um, it's just so quick and easy. It's such a good thing to have in your spice rack stash um because you could use it on fish you could use it on so many different things all kinds of meats even like vegetables um you could like breadcrumb butternut squash or something that would be incredible uh it says to put on a tablespoon and scatter it over each of the fillets so i'm just going to do that now oh a tablespoon doesn't sound like a lot but actually when you put it on the fillet okay that's good i'm just going to pop these in the fridge until they are ready to go in the oven Well, these look wonderful already. It says to push the potatoes to the sides and then put your fish in the middle. So let's just shimmy them around. Try not to lose any of that lovely breadcrumb topping. Oh my God, it smells so like lemony. What are you watching? <laughs> All right. Oh, that's great. They're good, don't they? Now this is just going back in the oven for 16 to 18 minutes and basically until your fish is opaque and kind of flaky and the crumbs are like nice and golden on top and the potatoes are done. So uh, BRB. So just to use half a bag of pea shoots. So I've got pea shoots here. Right, so throwing in half a bag and it says to add a squeeze of lemon juice just to add a nice bit of zing. I always like something quite lemony with fish. I just think it tastes delicious. The recipe also says to add some lemon juice to your tartar sauce, just to like loosen it up a bit. Again, add a nice bit of citrusy flavor. And then you basically pop some of this on your plate. You put the cod on top and then you plate it up with the potatoes and the pea shoots. Are you ready for this? <gasps> oh. Wow, 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 wow. That looks so, so, so incredible. And there's actually quite a lot of potatoes. Um, I will not be serving all of these up, but the potatoes look amazing, like nice and golden and crispy. And the fish looks absolutely wonderful. I'll pop an extra potato on for him. Yes. That's good, right? Yeah, it looks class. So got the pea shoots, the potatoes, the fish with a bit of tartar sauce underneath, um, and then there's loads of tartar sauce left. And so you can drizzle a little bit more on over the top, drizzle it over the salad. Um, yeah, that looks 
Amazing. I'm so impressed with this. Oh, nice. Good. Mm. So dinner was a roaring success. Mark has been sent off to his five-a-side football. Very well fed. He's, he's a happy chappy today. He got a new bike today that he literally has not stopped staring at. It's, it's actually quite adorable. But now, in today's section of um, Anna Cook's A Waitrose and Partners cookie recipe, which has become a bit of a thing, which I'm totally okay with, I'm going to cook these from the Waitrose and Partners food magazine, and I think it was the May issue. Uh, these are the miso caramel cookies. Oh, that just sounds so... The minute I saw these, I was like, these sound so up my street. Um, yeah, let's do this. I think the first thing I've got to do is beat everything together for like a really long time. So let's do that. So the first step is to cream together your butter and your sugar. So I've got my unsalted butter in there along with golden caster sugar and light brown soft sugar. And then I've also prepped my toffees as well and uh, cut them down and desperately tried not to eat all of them, which was impossible. Now I'm adding in my egg and this is a Waitrose 12 free range medium eggs from British Blacktail Hens exclusive to Waitrose. Very nice, just adding that in. Now for the golden syrup, and I learned this tip from my mum. Um, whenever you're trying to get a certain measurement of golden syrup, it's just very tricky and it's messy and it sticks. So what I tend to do is weigh it as it is, like in the package, and then deduct off of that weight that comes out what I need to add in here, and I just keep on re-weighing it throughout. Weighing it, right, I need to keep going. Um, and that way you don't get anything too messy. Thanks for the tip, mum. And then the final thing to add in at this stage is the white miso paste. And I think it is two tablespoons. Yeah, two tablespoons of white miso paste. And now it says to beat that for six to seven minutes until fluffy. So it's quite a long time. Um, so let's get a video up or something whilst I'm doing it. That was fun. It's gone all fluffy, which is apparently Good. Um, I think now I add in the flour, the bicarbonate soda, baking powder. It does say fine salt, but I've just had a quick taste and it does taste quite salty, so I might leave that out. And then the dairy toffees. Uh, so yeah, let's fold that all in. So if it wasn't copyrighted, this is where I would add in that like SpongeBob SquarePants one day later thing. Um, I got kind of tired last night and actually the dough needed to chill for half an hour. So I was like, why not let it chill for like nine and a half hours and just cook this when I wake up in the morning. So that's what I did. I was like a cookie making machine this morning. All you had to do was like chill that dough, roll it into balls and then pop it in the oven. Um, I think it said 11 to 15 minutes, but mine were coming out pretty perfect if I put them in for more like the nine to 10 minute mark. I personally like my cookies very like chewy and gooey in the middle and they have come out so good. I've eaten so many cookies for breakfast and there's still loads to take over to Lily and Rich's as well. I'll show you the end result. Oh my word, they smell so good as well. And I've got like, oh, I've got more under there. I did double quantities and I've ended up with about 40 cookies, which is brilliant news. I'm not complaining. But that concludes this video. I'm off now to go and get my eyebrows threaded, which I am very, very excited about. Like, can you even see my eyes? It's completely overgrown up there. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much to Waitrose and Partners for sponsoring this video and working with me once again. It is the dream. And honestly, these beautifully simple recipes are so darn delicious. The lemon pepper cod and also those veggie meatballs are part of this week's range. So if you go into store right this minute, you will find them there ready to shop. Love it. Thank you so much for watching though. And I will see you on Sunday with a bridesmaid's get ready with me. That is coming up for you next. I'll see you then. Have a good week. Bye.